I gotta get to Papalardo's before Vinny leaves to meet Rex. I gotta get to Papalardo's before Vinny leaves to meet Rex. I'll give you my insurance details later. Hey there, Chase. Vinny's been telling me how you're his number one guy now. Don't worry, I ain't jealous. Is he around? He, uh, said something about meeting some private buyer guy? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm a little worried. That guy he's meeting, he used to run all the rackets in this city before he got put away. Now he's out? I just hope he ain't trying to cut Vinny out of the equation. You want me to make sure Vinny's okay? Vinny would disown me if he knew I'd sent someone to look after him. Right. So he can't know. All I got was that they were meeting outside in Paradise Sands. Get up somewhere high, and with a bit of luck, you'll be able to see them. Right. Thanks, Mo. No, thank you. I feel odd.
Wow. So this is Frank's parents' hotel. They must be loaded. Right. I need to get onto the rooftop. Ugh, back in five minutes. I don't have five minutes. I guess I'll have to get up the hard way. If you ain't a gym member, you ain't coming in here. I am a gym member. Of course you are. I bet you don't even know how to use that fitness equipment. I guess you must be a gym member, even though I don't recognize you and you haven't provided any ID. My folks' hotel? No, I'm looking for Vinnie Papalardo and Rex Fury. Well, I can check the guest book. Th that isn't good. <sighs> Never mind. Have you seen anything suspicious happening from up here? No. Apart from the sinister looking helicopter that flew overhead a few minutes ago and then landed on the building opposite the Herbert Hotel? The Herbert Hotel? Then that's where I'm going. Hey, what's wrong with my parents' hotel? Is this about that guest who ate the chocolate on his pillow and it turned out it was a cockroach?
you, Jace. Maybe a firefighter just took the boat for a holiday cruise. No way! You're the guy who took my car and ruined our party! Oh, brother. Thank <laughs> you. 
there's never any good news. Only great news. <laughs> I'm getting really good at using those catapults. Another catapult. Awesome. Woohoo! I need to get to the back of the roof so I can see where that helicopter landed.
that's Rex. Vinny is working for him. I'll never get over there. What are they saying? Another job? We had a deal! I got Chan to get you all them vehicles. I got you that T-Rex. I got you the Bell Pepper Emerald. And that boat! Do you know how much trouble I had someone else go through for that? Well, I've still got more stuff on my shopping list, Vinny. And you are gonna get it for me. I ain't even been paid for the other stuff yet! I have overheads, you know, and them paintings you gave me ain't any good. What do you mean? They're Bricassos! Really? They look more like faces. Ah, just get the stuff, Vinny, or I'll have to replace you. Rex Fury makes my blood boil! We do all the jobs, we take all the risks, but he treats us like monkeys and gives us, uh... Peanuts? Chase, what did you hear? Nothing, except you mentioned Rex Fury. Yeah, what does it matter? Yeah, that's the private buyer I've been working for, and he's just pushed me too far. Nobody gets away with treating the papalados like this. We're gonna do a job just for us. What you got in mind? The biggest cheese in Lego City. The Von Stufenberg Cheddar Truckle? Not that kind of cheese. I mean Forrest Blackwell, property magnet, fridge magnet, and king of this city. Forrest Blackwell? I'll tell Mo to take the fire boat and meet you. Get moving. Okay, Vinny. I can't blow my cover yet. Not until I've arrested Rex. Chase. I figured this tunnel would look fancier, seeing as Blackwell's so rich. It ain't finished, is it? Blackwell lost interest in building stuff after the scandal. Oh yeah, what was the deal with that? What? Have you been on holiday for the last few years? <sighs> Not quite. Blackwell was gonna build this massive apartment complex with a mall and everything up in Bluebell National Park. But then someone finds some sort of rare squirrel there, so City Hall stops him. By then, he'd already spent billions building Blackwell Bridge to connect the clock to uptown. That must have been embarrassing for him. Oh yeah, he didn't take it kindly. Vowed he'd never build anything again. Right. Now, we gotta be quiet. I'll wait here and keep the engine running. Get up there, get the stuff, and get back down. Okay.
weirdly quiet around here. Maybe Blackwell security guys are on holiday. Or maybe not.
Okay, Chase. Don't take anything too valuable. Just find something shiny that... If I was a secretive billionaire, where would I hide my vault? Oh, right. See? Now that's a sensible place to hide a vault. Yeah, that won't attract more attention. How does chopsticks go again? Only one more layer protecting the vault. Uh-oh, company.
Open sesame! Or just open, if you have a nut allergy. Whoa, that looks like a lot of money. No wonder Vinny's had his eye on this place. Who are you? Uh... Intruder escaping! Sentinels pursuing! Chase, I'm still trying to shake these guys off. Did you get out? Yeah, but I've got company too. Okay, meet me at the south end of Promenade Gardens in downtown. Right. Trouble for that.
Mo, are you near Promenade Gardens yet? I wish. These bozos had people waiting for me at the docks. So I ain't gonna be there anytime soon. Get to Vinny's. I tried calling him, but he didn't pick up. Not even just to yell at me. That ain't usual, Chase. I'll make sure he's okay. Sorry, it's an emergency. Yowzers! I'll come back and give you my insurance details later. Sandwich. What is going on in there? Oh, you guys are making a big mistake. When Rex finds out you did this. Ha ha ha! Who do you think sent us? What? Why did he... I'm sorry. What's that? I can't hear you. Oops. <laughs> I broke the handle. <gasps> I said... Why... Did... <laughs> I gotta get Vinny out of there.
Sheesh, Finny. I know Rex has turned on you, but there's no need to go to pieces. Oh. Thanks! The leader locked himself in the ice cream factory. You can get in through a secret passage in my office. Whew. I want to know why they did this. What? One of those worms has drawn a mustache on my mother's painting. How could they do that? Do you know how much I had to pay the artist to leave her mustache off in the first place? She'll go crazy if she sees this. So dark. Is it nap time? Vinny really likes ice cream.
That is a pretty unconventional way of locking a door. <laughs> How did you get in here? Ah, what does it matter? You can't hurt us! If you're after an ice cream, this place is closed for business. Permanently! What you doing down there? Making yourself a Sunday? <laughs> I can still see you in that box, you know. Hey, that's cheating! You two, stop it! Don't just stand there! Stop it! around down there. You guys are useless! Right, now you're beginning to get on my nerves. This is your... What are you up to? Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, that's right. I've been being nice up till now. Sorry about the frosty reception, mister. What's he doing? I can't see him. Pressing buttons and turning valves. you guys do anything right? What the... Uh, ow! That hurt. <laughs> hey, get me out of this thing, or Rex or... Rex ain't here. Why did he send you guys? I ain't telling you nothing. It's okay, Vinny. I think I know how to make him talk. Eat some more. Uh, oh, yeah, that's mm, so delicious. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, great freeze. Here comes the airplane. Meow. No, stop. All right, I'll 
tell you anything! Where's Rex? I don't know. Honest, I don't. But I know how you can get to him. I'm meant to do some kind of job tonight in the construction yard at Paradise Sands. You could take my place. You, you kind of look like me. Hey, you are the same height. If you're lying... Don't worry, Chase. I'll keep him here. I got a few questions of my own I'd like answered. Yeah, no, no. Whoa, is that the blueberry and pomegranate ice cream? Oh, that stuff is amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. That is going straight to my hips. Mm. Can I get some sprinkles? Ellie, you could tell the chief I'm getting very close to Rex now. Oh, that's really sweet. Frank? Yeah, I'm looking after the evidence locker for Ellie. So, you like Rex, do you? No, I mean that I'm getting close to arresting him. I found out where his gang's going to be tonight. Where's that? Construction yard near Paradise Sands. I know the foreman there, Albert Spindlerooter. He rebuilt my house after I blew up my house when I tried redecorating my house. Did you know you shouldn't rewire bathtubs? Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm replacing one of Rex's guys on a job there. Tell Ellie for me? Yes, sir. Are you sure you turned the power off? Yeah. The light went red on the fuse box. Oh, by the way, my doctor told me I was colorblind this morning. <laughs> Are you stupid? Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean, hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? Nope. Not me. No uh, way. I've got plans. Nope. No way. How about me? You are plumbing a water main, not saving the world, Damkov. Uh, fine. You need a uniform. You, give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, oh, it's okay. I'll find another one. <sighs> hey, you'll need to move that barrel. Push it over by that cone and stuff. I gotta figure out who my contact is in this place. My back is hurting from carrying around bricks all day. Have you been lifting from the knees? No, from the construction site. <laughs> Hurry, and get through the door. Don't you have a crowbar? <laughs> Listen, fix that fuse box. I don't need any more collateral damage. Ah. 
That you, Jimmy? I got a message from Rex. He wants you to get a crane from this place. Gotta go! Well, that was to the point. Don't worry about smashing the crate. It's expendable. to have a cup of joe. I am gasping for a coffee. That gate needs repairing. Did you not hear it jingle all the way? I don't know what they're talking about. Using an automatic drill all my life hasn't affected me at all. I keep hitting my hand with my hammer. I'm gonna try something different. Yeah, like uh, hit my foot. That steamroller was fun, but have you got something a bit bigger I can drive? Like a, uh, ooh, crane? <laughs> Trust you with a crane? <laughs> Thanks. Show me that you're a real construction worker. Fix the hoist controls over there. Thank you. 
Have you found those parts yet? Find the parts! How's the project going? Well, the first floor is going great, but the... Quickly! Fix the hoist controls. We're behind on this job. I mean, it's already the sixth day. Isn't anyone else doing any work here? Oh, I'm sorry if this seems like a raw deal. The foreman reminds me of somebody. You want to drive the crane? Yeah, yeah? Then get through the door up there. 
Oh, who built that wall there? Idiots! Use explosives to get rid of it! Come on! Come on! Don't you understand a simple command? Oh? No reply? Good! Stop walking, man! Stop running, man! Explosives are in the storeroom! Elevator won't work! Fix the fuse box above it! Glad I remembered my hard hat today! I can still feel where that brick landed on me. How do I tell them that I don't like coffee? I mean, if I tell them I like Earl Grey tea, will they fire me? I think my cousin was fired from the police force for not liking donuts. Don't you know how to use an elevator? Put the fire out! Wait a second! Why is the building even on fire? Which stupid set the building on fire? How do I tell them that I don't like coffee? I mean, if I tell them I like Earl Grey tea, will they fire me? I think my cousin was fired from the police force for not liking donuts. That or stealing a computer. Off the gas valve. Use your strength. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you bash open the door? All right. Come on, what are you doing? Get through there! And hurry up! It's almost the end of day! Oh, come on! There's got to be a spare around here. Something I can help with? Doubt it. I dropped the key to the gate shed and the guard dog ran off with it. Can't you just take the key back off of it? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, no, wait. I actually want to keep both my hands. I wish I hadn't eaten that much. Then I might have been able to lure that dog out of his kennel. Getting this crane better lead me straight to Rex. You got the key! You just saved my neck, buddy. Go on! Use it to get into the gatehouse!
What? How did you? I'm not Albert. I'm Werner, his twin. Oh. Huh. I thought you'd look different. So, you want to drive a crane, eh? Yes. Then you better build it first. No. Oh. Come on, build it. I'll need a lot more bricks before I can use that super build.
think you can drive a crane? Well, then prove it. Get the crane over to that building. Hurry! the crane to pick up the pipes. I could pick them up with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, put it in the right trench. Don't make mistakes. We can't use an eraser. Now, do the other ones. Are you going somewhere? Don't worry. I'll be back. I hope you don't mind if the crane isn't here when you return, because I'm going to use it to pick up Rex with the very long arm of the law. Huh, that one wasn't too bad. You got the crane, Jimmy. Great. Rex will be real happy. Yeah. Let's go drive this to wherever Rex is. <laughs> You're such a kidder, Jimmy. We're using the crane to get something else. I'll open the gate so you can get it out of here. Get out of the crane, Jimmy! Uh, sure! Just give me a second! Hey there! Thanks! I gotta drive it up to the observatory. Stay here and see if anyone follows me. I get the feeling someone might try and infiltrate the gang tonight. No! Yeah! Oh. Grr. Meet me up there in ten minutes! Sure, sure. <laughs> I am brilliant at disguises. Oh. Of all the days to leave my glasses at home! No. Oh. I should know the location of their base soon. That's great, Chase. What's holding you up? My contact in Rex's gang wants me to do something up at the observatory first. But you could give Natalia the good news. If Rex has her dad, their base is where he'll be. Well, I'll try, but I just got her answer machine. I think she's sick of me reminding her to walk my dog. I'll call her myself later then.
This is an emergency. Rex wants us to steal the telescope out of the observatory. Yeah, Rex does love, um, astrology? Ha! <laughs> it ain't for Rex. It's something for the old man, ain't it? Right. The old man? Well, what are you waiting for? You got a pneumatic drill from that construction place, right? Use that! You believe in astrology then? No, but that's probably because I'm a Pisces. Great! I'll drive the truck around back. Now I gotta fix the crate. I may have damaged it on the way up here. Keep an eye out for company. And if you see any, deal with them. been practicing, Jimmy? Anyway, I got this hunk of junk all fixed up. We gotta get the observatory's roof open, because I doubt that telescope is gonna fit through the front door. Fix up that fuse box real good. It's wired into the dome. is get the telescope onto the back of that truck, and we're out of here, man. Go on, get in the crane. Now stick it on the back of the truck, facing backwards. That way you can see any cops. Nice. Okay, now get in the truck. Yeah, okay.
final shipment. Just arrived. Uh... Excellent. All we need now is the password for the professor's device. I could soften him up. Uh... No need. My men have finally secured the leverage we have been pursuing. <laughs> Um, but, a boss. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just funny. Uh, boss, your camera's at the wrong angle again. What? Botherations. <laughs> Technology. And it's making your voice go funny. I'll call you later. Professor? That must be Professor Kowalski. <laughs> How lucky was I to overhear that, eh? That's the truck the imposter was driving. Uh-oh. I think my cover's blown. He's gotta be here somewhere. Find him. <sighs> that was close. I hate you, Elevator. I ain't even trying! I will hook you! Oh, this ain't fair!
Massive fan blades this time. Oh, good, no fan blades, just laser cannons. Followed by rotating energy beam things. I bet this shaft just ends in a giant furnace. That must be how they sneak most of the equipment in. Let's give this thing an upgrade. Just pretend it's one of those claw machines from the fun fair. What's going on? Oh, 
Oh. Hey! That should stop them sneaking any more equipment in. And I can use this engine to get through the reinforced door over there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not be defeated. Coming through. My very own jetpack.
Whoa, all that from one tiny bundle of dynamite. <laughs> cool. Right. 
And what's behind this door? Professor Kowalski, please, be reasonable. Forrest Blackwell! Forrest Blackwell?! You lied to me! You said my research would benefit society! Oh, it will. Just not this society. The society which spurned my gift. The society which made me look like a fool when I offered them paradise. Building your monstrosity in Bluebell National Park would have caused a poisonous fallout. None of the wildlife would have survived. Oh, boo-hoo. Like we don't have enough squirrels. Go on. Do your worst. Professor, I would never hurt you. Dad! Oh, my Natalia! See what they're planning! Don't help them! Off you go, my dear. I trust my intentions are clear. Yes, the password for the device is Forest Black Smell. Ah. Mm. Looks like it works. Thank you, Professor Poe. This silly computer! Will somebody get me a new computer? What about my daughter? What about her? Oh, Natalia. What have I done? Whoa! Uh, room service? Right. I've got to get up to the professor. <laughs>
Is that a flying saucer? It's me, Professor. Chase McCain. You're not a professor. You're a police officer. No, that's... Never mind. I'm here to rescue you. Ah, wonderful. Press the button on the control panel behind me. Hurry! Hurry! They have not had... Thank you! Goodness me! Chase McCain! The last time I saw you, you were completely ruining my daughter's life! Uh, thank you? Ah, you did her a favor. Secretly, she's much happier being a paramedic than a reporter. But now, we must rescue her from the forest Blackwell's clutches! Yeah! I can't believe Blackwell's a bad guy. He seems so nice. He is a villain. I see you've already arranged our transport. I will disengage the docking clamps. <laughs> We are out! Oh, brilliant flying, pilot man! Oh, my bad. <laughs> to Blackwell's mansion. Natalia is there. Yeah, she could hurt someone. And we need to figure out what Blackwell's up to. What was the research you were doing for him? I was developing a phased polarity exclusion field. Right. Now, obviously, I understand what that is, but how would you describe it to, say, a child? Hmm. Imagine you have a pair of subatomic particles. A younger child than that. Oh. Uh, it's a kind of a magic bubble which nothing can get through. Wow. What's he gonna use that for? I don't know. All I do know 
is that he wants revenge against Lego City. Then I'd better warn the police department. <laughs> Ellie, I got him to the base. He was inside Mount Cashmore. And get this. Forrest Blackwell is an evil mastermind, and he's behind this whole thing. Forrest Blackwell? But he's a good guy. He was just on the TV. He was stroking this white cat. Oh, wait, he is evil. What? Why was he on TV? He's holding a press conference outside Blackwell Tower this afternoon. Said he had some news which would change Lego City forever. Everyone's gonna be there. Well, you've got to stop him. Tell the chief. I will, but, uh... Do you have some evidence I can give him? Or donuts? No, but I'm gonna get some. Ooh, I, I would quite like an Upperfield donut, please. Evidence! I'm gonna get some evidence. Okay, look, I'll go to Blackwell Tower. Most of the department's gonna be there for the press conference anyway, and I'll keep working on the chief. But call me as soon as you've got something he has to act on. Thanks, and be careful. <laughs> We are close. Blackwell has a private helipad we can make use of. Think you can open it? There you go. Well, I could have done that. Blackwell's mansion is huge. We should split up. Yes. Good luck, Chase. I hope all the security means Natalia's nearby. The 
silver statue and a giant letter B. Subtle and classy, Blackwell. It's like he paid Frank to do his wiring. The playground? That's just weird. What's weirder is I really want to play on that slide.
Natalia? No, sorry. 
But it looks like I found Force Blackwell's secret. He's a model-making nerd. He's an evil genius! This is his plan! Look! This is my phase polarity M! My magic bubble! He means to fly to the moon! How? The shuttle on Apollo Island isn't big enough for all his cronies. And you can't exactly hide a giant rocket in Lego City. The countdown! Blackwell Tower! Ellie, you have to get everyone away from Blackwell Tower. Now! Okay, but why? Blackwell Tower is a rocket. When it takes off, it'll fry everything within ten blocks. I'm sending you evidence. Right. Everyone, you need to clear the area! Look, we don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way. Chase, I'm going to Blackwell Tower. I need you to go to my building in Auburn Docks. Okay. What am I doing? I just said, you're going to my building in Auburn Docks. And when I get there? I have working prototypes of the magic bubble machine there. They're in my laboratory. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to invert the polarity of the neutron that... Uh, I'm going to tell the mystical pixies that live inside there... I'm not an idiot, Professor. Are you going to use the magic bubble to contain the rocket's exhaust? Yes, exactly. And what if you can't? Uh, then I'm going to get a very good tan. I'm at Blackwell Tower, Chase. Have you got to my lab? Not yet. Then drive faster! This is a matter of life and, you know, the other thing. Oh, and your chief has dispatched another officer to help you when you get there. We're going to need more shield generators than I first thought. Hurry up, Chase! You need to get to my lab! Chase, everything depends on you. Sorry, police business. Chase! 
Frank, who else would they trust with such an important mission? Literally anyone. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Chase, although it was impossible to get into Blackwell Tower, I've managed to hack into their launch computer and slow it down slightly. You don't have long, though. Don't worry, I'm at your laboratory. Good, then drive the shield prototypes here as fast as you can. And drive carefully. Okay, I could definitely do one of those things. with Kowalski. And where are you? Uh, I'm about halfway there, Chief. Not good enough. This thing's getting ready to launch. Find the accelerator and don't take your foot off of it! Chase! You need to get here faster! I cannot stop the countdown! I'm driving as recklessly as I can, Professor! position one of the magic bubble machines for you. I should probably have mentioned they're in self-assembly kit form, so you will need to build them. I'm too busy slowing the countdown. Professor told me to wait here and not touch anything. Oh man, look! It's all in pieces! That happened to me when I bought that painting. But then the guy at the store explained it was actually a jigsaw puzzle. I managed to put it together, but it took ages because the picture was of the color brown. Then I turned it over and someone had painted a load of kittens on the back of it. Just like they had on the box it came in!
evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain. Me too. There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do. Honey, that rocket's flame is gonna be burning at 3,000 degrees. That is hot. I better take off my jacket. How long do we have, Professor? Uh, about minus three seconds. Computers, I saw that Natalia was on board. What? That was good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today, and uh, I'm a big enough man to admit when I've made a mistake or two, which is still a lot less than you've made. Thanks, Chief. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. For the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed? Name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can lend you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Professor Kowalski, don't worry. I'm going to get Natalia back. Uh, thank you, Chase. Is there anything I can do to help you? Uh, I guess it'd be useful if I knew how to fly a shuttle. Can you give me a crash course so I don't, uh, crash? No need. The engineers at Apollo Island will fly it by remote control. What about Blackwell's one? I'll have to get it back to Lego City. Oh, you can cross that bridge if you come to it. If? Uh, sorry, when. I meant when. This way, sir. We're getting the rocket ready right now.
Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. I think I can handle it, Professor. 
<laughs> I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9. We do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you are about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> That's weird. I don't feel any lighter. I bet it's because of those cookies I ate in the rocket. <laughs>